are about to hear a romantic drama, Bitter Triumph, from Love Story magazine, featuring the Love Story girl in the role of Marga Reynolds. The scene is a lake, lying blue and placid in the lazy summer sunshine. On a diving float, a sun-browned couple stretch their bronze young limbs. The lake is calm, the sky is clear, the day serene. But Marga and Jay are having a good old-fashioned lover's quarrel. And what's more, I, I didn't like the way he kept you out walking on the golf course last night at the country club dance. Oh, what if I was? Since when have you had a right to hold a stopwatch on me? I didn't hold a stopwatch. Everyone in the club noticed how long you were gone. And then when he came back with lipstick all over the side of his collar... What makes you so sure? It was my lipstick. A man doesn't keep a girl out walking in the moonlight for half an hour unless he... That is, unless she... Oh, is that so? Well, let me tell you, Jay Thorne, that I stayed out in the golf course with Hal Lucas because, well, because he was asking me to marry him. Oh, so he asked you to marry him? He did. Well, I call it a dirty trick, Marga, leading a man on and then throwing him over just uh, so you can add his scalp to your collection. Well, what makes you so sure I threw him over? Because you're in love with me. Oh, will you listen to the conceit of the Well, man? you are in love with me. Or aren't you? Answer me. Well, yes, I suppose I am, in a way, but just because we're, we're that way about each other doesn't necessarily mean I can't be nice to anybody else. Oh, wait a minute. Look here. Let's get this straight. No wife of mine is going to go gallivanting around golf courses in the middle of the night. Mm, but, Jay, darling, whatever gave you the idea I was going to marry you? Well, you certainly aren't thinking of marrying that pipsqueak, Hal Lucas. Then why not? Now, look here, Martha. You mean to sit there and say that, that you'd even think of marrying a man for his money? Now, what's so terrible about that? After all, money's a pretty good thing to marry for. It lasts. Yeah, if the stock market or the government doesn't take it away from you. Well, of course, Hal may lose some of his money, but after all, you always lose love. Sooner or later, I mean. Why, Margot Reynolds, I don't know what's gotten into you today. Maybe it's just plain common sense. After all, even the greatest philosophers and psychologists and everything say that this kind of frantic love only lasts for a year or two, and then what have you? Now, with money, you can always travel or buy a yacht or a new diamond bracelet to keep you from getting bored. Well, of all the crazy, cockeyed, disgusting ideas... Just because you're maudlin about this love in a cottage stuff is no reason you've got a right to dictate to me. Oh? How'd you like it if I started running after Gladys Jones or Bunny Travers just because they have money? Mm, why stop with Gladys or Bunny? Anyone as irresistibly good-looking as you ought to be able to marry at least ten millions. Why not find yourself a real cat? Well, why not? Maybe you're right. Jay, where are you going? Back to town to see if I can't find myself a girl with some feeling, some what? sense of decency. Lord knows why I've been wasting my entire summer on you, you heartless mercenary gold digger. Jay, wait, I... Jay, didn't mean no, I, I didn't mean it. Oh, dear, why do men have to be so, so dense? Oh, oh hello, Marga. Oh, hell. Well, don't look so upset. I'm not the Loch Ness Monster. I know, only I thought maybe he, he had changed his mind. Oh, uh, who? Oh, just Jay, he decided to go in. Oh, getting cold, eh? Well, that's what happens to you when you don't keep up your stamina. Anything the matter? Mm. No, of course not. What gave you that idea? Oh, I don't know. Say, Marga. Yes? You haven't changed your mind about tonight. Well, I... Oh, come on. We'll drive over to Potterville for the early movie and then end up at the canoe club for the dance. What do you say, Marga? There'll be a moon. Well, that is... After all, why shouldn't I? <laughs> Well, Marga, summer's nearly over. Next Monday's Labor Day. How about making up your mind? We could get married in November and go on a world's cruise on our honeymoon. Oh, you'd love a world's cruise, Marga. I know I would, Hal. I've always wanted to travel. Well, then what's holding us back? Well... I'd make things easy for you. I'd give you everything you could think of. Uh, I know you would, Hal, and I'm really very fond of you, only I... I'm just not terribly in love, that's all. Oh, no, don't you worry your pretty little head about that. That'll straighten itself out unless... Marga. Yes? There isn't anybody else, is there? You haven't still got a hankering for... For, for Jason? Oh, certainly not. Well, then, that's okay. Besides, I hear he's got somebody else he's picked up in town. But... 
brought her down here for the weekend. You mean he's here? Jay's here at the lake? Oh, yes. Didn't you know? Came down to help his mother close up the cottage. Oh. Well, speaking of the devil, there he is now, driving in at the gate. That must be the girl with him. Hello, everybody. I'd like to meet Betty Skipworth. She's a very particular friend of mine. Well, I... I must say, Margaret, she's not so bad. Oh, what's special about her? Pale hair, pale skin. If you ask me, she looks anemic. Oh, not anemic, Margaret. Just delicate, uh, smart girl. Makes all the rest of you sun-kissed damsels look just a trifle too robust. <laughs> you know what I mean. I think I'll just mosey over and meet the new arrival. Well, why not? Join the procession, line forms on the right. Better hurry or the best places will be gone. Well, maybe you're right. Well, well, so this is what's been keeping old Jay in town all summer. Well, I must say I don't blame her. Hello, Marga. Hello, Jay. Well, your lady friend seems to have made a hit. Yep, Betty's quite a girl. I suppose congratulations are in order. Oh, what gave you that idea? Oh, I don't know. The way you look at her, the way you held her hand coming up the steps. Anyone can see you're crazy about her. Well, I wouldn't go so far as say that. It's... Not the cockeyed adolescent infatuation I felt for you, but... Well, you know, you were right when you told me about the philosophers and psychologists saying that sort of crazy feeling can't last. Oh? Yes. Betty and I will get by all right, though. We've a community of interests. We both like dogs and children and a home with morning glories twined round the door. Mm, how lovely. But, Jay, you've forgotten to ask how I'm getting on with, with Hal. With Hal? Oh, oh, yes, his name was Hal, wasn't it? Well, how are things progressing, Marga? I don't see any 24-carat solitaire. Well, no, you see, I don't wear it in the daytime. It's a little too spectacular for sport clothes, and then I might lose it, swimming or something. Oh, yes, of course. We're, we're going around the world on our honeymoon. Oh, then you'll be getting married soon? Yes. Pity you let yourself get so brown. Uh, you won't look very well in your bridal veil, oh, I'm afraid. No. Jay Thorne, I hate you. Marga! Hey, wait a minute. Where are you going? Keep away from me. I never want to see you again as long as I live. Miss Marga, ain't it time you was getting yourself prettified for the dance this evening? Oh, I'm not going to the dance, Begonia. I've got a headache. Oh, but honey, that Mr. Halley's coming to get you in the next ten minutes. No, he won't, Begonia. I I telephoned him at the hotel that I wasn't going out with him tonight or ever again. You can start packing the first thing in the morning. What? We're going back to town. Oh, I declare, honey, this summer you like a regular will of the whisper. First you go get yourself in love with Mr. J, then you buzz off with him, and you takes up with Mr. Hal. Now you go buzz off with him. Who's it going to be next, honey? It's not going to be anybody. I never want to fall in love again, ever. Oh, but that ain't natural. Maybe not, but it's a lot less harrowing. Uh, don't wait up for me, Begonia. Well, if you ain't going to the dance, where is you going, Miss Marga? Swimming. I'm going to swim and swim until I'm so tired I can sleep. Well, you, you can't do that, honey. It, it's dangerous on a night like this. It's so dark you can't see your hand before your face. What if you go get too far out and get lost? What if I do? Who cares? Doc, maybe I'd better turn back. Been pretty far. I guess I'm tired enough. Goodness knows my back feels as if I... Wait, I, I, I've lost track of the shore. I must have come farther out than I realized. It must be over there. Maybe... Good heavens, I can't remember. I I, I, I can't see anything. I, no, no, easy, Marge. Easy. I sense getting panicky, but... I can't see a thing. Everything's so black. My, 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 my legs are getting so numb. Mm. What if I... What if I'm swimming in circles? I... I can't hold out much longer. Help! Help somebody! Oh. Well, I'll have to do better than that. I'm so far away. If they can't hear me. Oh. Help! Somebody! Help! Margaret! All right. I'm coming. Margaret, where are you? Here. I, who is it? 
don't you know? Dave. Dave, oh, oh, thank heaven. I thought I... I thought I was gone. All right. I've got you. Take it easy. Oh, Dave. How did you happen to get out here? Begonia told me. She came running over to the cottage, scared out of her wits. And you came out after me? Oh, Jay. Darling, didn't you know I would? Sure you're all right now? Mm-hmm. You don't have to hold on to me anymore if you don't want to. But I do want to. But it's really not necessary. I, I've got my wind back and, and everything. Meaning what? Meaning my my sense of values. Day, I phoned Hal. I'm not going to marry him. Then you do love me? <laughs> you do jump to the strangest conclusions. Do I? Well, Jay, that's not fair. Not when you're engaged to that girl. Oh, you mean Betty? Yes. Jay, I was a fool to quarrel with you, and I I hope she'll have more sense. Oh, you don't hope anything of the kind. Here, put your head on my shoulder. Uh, uh, that's better. Feels almost natural again. But, but, Jay, we shouldn't. But what about Betty? She's your fiancé. She is not. But you said... That... I said nothing of the sort. All I intimated was that we liked the same things. That doesn't mean I have any intentions of marrying her. I never had. You see, dear, Betty's my cousin. Cousin? Well, why didn't you tell me? Well, you never asked me. Jay Thorne, you're the most annoying, the most aggravating. Now, Margaret, you're not going to quarrel with me again. <laughs> no, at least not for ten minutes. And you will marry me? Yes. And all that hooey the philosophers and psychologists say about love is the bunk, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. This is one romance that's going to last forever and ever. Or I'll know the reason why. You have been listening to a romance featuring the Love Story Girl and presented with the permission of Street and Smith, publishers of Love Story magazine. Listen for the Love Story Girl in a new romance next week.